This one's going to be on Rename Utils. There's actually a bundle of other mini programs inside it that is designed to either rename or copy um, your, your files or folders. So, uh, I'll show you a list of what they have in here before we begin. Um, they do have this one called DUR name. Basically, it convert uh, like let's say your web browser downloads something and they don't convert the uh, percent twenty back to spaces. And this one will clean it up. So I'll show you that at the end here. Now this one actually just provides these two, so it's not really a command, I don't think. But this one is interactive copy, and this one is interactive um, rename. This one provides, I think, these two only, right? And this one is, I think it's called Quick Copy or something like that. But basically, you can uh, do a bulk copy, all right? And this one is for bulk uh, renaming. So this one is similar to Vdir, um, the program I talked about a long time ago. I'll link you in the description if you missed it. But it uh, does the same thing, and it uses your text editor. So you can use like Nano, Vim. Uh, even a GUI text editor if you want, like Gedit or something like that. So I'll show you how to use this here. Um, so we have a bunch of files in here, and you know uh, it's either JPEGs or PNGs or whatever. And if I want to rename, bulk rename, let's say I just want to do JPEGs only, I can do a uh, wildcard and a JPEG extension. And you see, it just lists out the JPEGs only. Um, if I want to do like some other extensions, like PNGs or something like that, then I'll just list out PNGs. Now, if you want to do all of them, it'll just do uh, Q and V, and I'll list all of them. So the default looks okay because it has like you know your uh, left column here. This is your original file name, and this is your right column. This is a uh, the output name that it will give you okay so basically this is your source and this is your destination um, that you're gonna do so since this one is to rename something so if I want to rename uh, line 2 here right uh, what was that line 2 here to I don't know say this one is car or something which I don't think it's car but whatever uh, let's say I do another one now here this one is trucks right and if I save that it'll rename those things as a uh, regular rename and now these files uh, this was the original and now it's called cars and this one is original and now it's called trucks basically that's how it works now there's some issues if you just use this command by stuff like this QMV it has two columns right and if you're doing this with either Vim or something like that, and let's say you want to change all JPEGs to uh, GIF or something, right? Let's say if I do change it to GIF, you'll see that it'll affect the first column. I mean, you can do some scripting or something like that, but it's kind of annoying. And if you want to change one or the other, uh, you know, you have two columns, so it's kind of annoying. So what I would suggest is that you get rid of the source uh, column here when you're doing this or I think that should be the default in my opinion but if you do QMV dash format I think F is for format and then you just want the destination uh, column only you do DO and basically it will only show you one column and that's the column you make changes for so for example if I want to change this one to uh, minivan or something right it'll just change that to minivan uh, so there's only one column and a, you probably want to alias this or something like that to QMV when you're doing this anyways that's the solution if you want to you know do a bulk uh, rename but not affecting the source um, column you just want to affect the destination column so that's what it does here with the format the dash F flag here and that's for your destination. Anywho, should be in the man page here. See here, what does the F mean again? I keep forgetting. Yeah, it's for format. And they have some other options down here. 
So if you want the first column, I think it's this one, a single column. And this one, well, by default is the dual column. But if you want just the destination only, then we do DO. And that's uh, what we did there. Okay. So that's it for that. And I believe you can do it for the other one here too. So this one is QCP. And this one is not renaming. This one is actually copying. So if I want to copy, uh, let's say uh, this one here on line two this file whatever whatever um we'll copy it to a different name we'll call this one what is that limo or something i don't know and the one down here under that uh we'll call this one bikes all right how about that and you see that now it says regular copy and you copy uh those two to a different name i think we can list it out here Right, so it says limo and bikes, so on and so forth. I believe you can do, uh, what was the other one? QMC. I think you can do just the destination only again. Yeah, so you only need like uh, one column. You only want to use the destination uh, only, right? And it's pretty much the same thing. If you want to copy this one to... I don't know, uni cycle or something. And this one to skates. Let me spell it. There we go. Skates. And basically, what it does is that it'll copy um, this and they have the same name and so on and so forth. So, to check it, let's check this here. We'll do that. It should be the same image. Okay, this is the image of that. And same thing with this one. If I do unicycle, should be the same image. See, so it is. So that's that. Uh, for what was that? QCP. And the next thing, this two are kind of like useless. I don't know if you're an expert at this and tell me why it's useful. Let me know, or maybe there's an option I'm missing. But uh, this one is for interactive. Uh, copy and and then uh, renaming. So if I want to do ICP and I want to copy uh, this skates um, image here, right? And they have this little um, line. I don't know what you say, but it's like an interactive line that you can use your arrow keys. And now you can change skates to roller blades. How about that? And now it changes to rollerblades, right? So, uh, I mean, it copies it to rollerblades. So these are the same files. So ICP is for interactive copy, and so on and so forth. But it's kind of an, you know, it's kind of useless because you can just use the CP command to copy it. But I don't know why they, <clears throat> don't know why they even waste time making this one. I'm not sure. But that's uh, interactive copy. Just do ICP. And then the name, let's say limo. And now you have your interactive thing. We'll call this one uh, limo two or something. And now you have two limos, right? Limo, limo two, so on and so forth. Now the next one is similar to the copy, but it's for renaming interactively. So I M V. And let's say I want to change the limo two to something else. We'll call this one uh, not limo anymore. So we call it not limo. How about that? And now it changes the name interactively to not limo. Again, you can just use the move command to do it in one line instead of doing that one. But they have that there if you want to do it interactively. So, for the last one, it's called DURL, and this one is for cleaning up file names that you've downloaded using your web browser. And I'll give you an example here. Uh, I did a search for, actually, just go to a clean folder. Do we have anything here? Okay, we'll delete that. But let's say I do. Uh, We'll search for K-pop on Google here for MP3s, and we'll go into this one. 
And let's say we want to download some of these. I don't know any of these songs, but let's say this song here, uh, Hold the Line Instrumental or whatever, hit enter. And now when you, it saves it, it'll save it as hold, and then they have this uh, percent %20, which, is, which means space, right? Space, so on and so forth. But uh, with W3M, it doesn't actually convert it back to space when... Uh, you finish downloading so let's say for example I download this and we'll wait for it to finish here and there it goes finish so we don't need our web browser anymore but we have our song here and you can see that it still has that thing uh, I don't know why but uh, if you want to clean it up you can use the URL uh, and that one will clean up the um, file names that has those percent twenties so we list it out again Look at that, All right? So this was the original, and now it's cleaner. We can actually read it now. Anywho, that is the program. So I'll probably say uh, three out of five. Okay, that was useful. The other two, the interactive one, like I said, I, maybe I'm missing some options, but those two are kind of useless. These three actually maybe have some usage in it. Anywho, if you want to try it out. It should be in your uh, repository. It's just uh, rename utils, and they have all those uh, mini programs they can use. That's it for this one.